The House Bipartisan Mental Health Task Force held its second in a series of meetings, this time in West Michigan and Hope Network in Grand Rapids. The group, made up of seven Republicans and seven Democrats, listened to local panelists from homeless service providers, drug courts, hospitals, and more. Representative Mary Whiteford from Allegan County is a task force member and a registered nurse. She says mental health demands a comprehensive look from policymakers. That's why it's so important for us to have this task force. We can address all the different sides of, of mental illness and the challenges that we as, a, we as a society face. And us as a legislature, we have a huge role in making sure that funding is spent properly and making sure that it's going to its intended purposes. And so it's so important for us to listen to all these people come and talk about the services that are provided and see how we can link things up. Dr. Ned Canfield is a family practice physician and the state representative from the tip of Michigan's thumb. He also oversees the $25 billion budget for the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. This gives us information to help us understand what we need to start working on and what questions to ask, because sometimes we aren't even knowledgeable about what questions we should be asking. And I think one of our problems is that everybody doesn't have the oar in the, in the water at the same time. And I think that's one of the issues that is brought out today, is that perhaps we need to help find a way to put all the oars in the, in the water at the same time and pulling in the same direction. And I think it might be helpful. Following the meeting, legislators took part in a tour of St. Mary's Hospital and learned about the mental health services that it provides. The House Cares Task Force, named for its commitment to community, access, resources, education, and safety, will continue to travel throughout Michigan to gather information about ways to improve mental health services in the state. To submit your suggestions to the task force, please visit house.mi.gov cares.